in this client case study, I want to show you how wrong the seasonal color analysis is and how I find Shiloh's true color type and her 12 best colors. You can see here all the colors that the seasonal color analysis would suggest her, which are all quite inaccurate and not very aligned with her true color type. In these three pictures, you can also see colors that I don't recommend her wearing, like black and gray, this particular color combination between white and blue, and green. To find her true color type, I go through a th simple three-step color analysis method that I've developed based on physics, quantum physics, and Asian principles of harmony and healing. And the first step in the analysis is to look at the chroma. Is she bright, medium, or soft? To determine the chroma, there are two levels of the analysis. The first one is to look at dominant color frequencies present in the skin tone, eyes, lips, and hair. In her case, she has multiple dominant color color frequencies, especially in her eyes and in her hair, which puts her automatically into a rather medium chroma type. The second level of analysis is to cross-check between the bright red and the medium red to determine the distance between the color and the person. And here it is quite a bit the distance between the bright red and the person. And the bright red is also too much energy for her. It is not energizing her overall features. It is not providing any type of harmony for her features, which is why she is a medium chroma type. And when you actually compare that to the medium chroma red, you can see that the color is much closer to her skin and it enhances her overall coloring so beautifully that you don't feel distracted by the red. The red actually does not compete for your attention. The second level of analysis is to look at the contrast. Is she high, medium or low contrast? Because the distance between her hair color and skin color is in the medium spectrum, she's considered a medium contrast. The next step is to look at the depth. Is she deep, medium or light? Meaning how dark are her features? Hair color, skin tone, eyes. And in her case, she has a medium brown hair color light skin and blue eyes, which are all in the range of medium to light. Now in this step, I'm finding the root skin color and I start off at the orange, determining whether her skin is based in an orange or rather in a red or maybe even yellow. In her case, she has a very unique mix in skin tone, not only is it based in orange, but it also has a yellow glow to it. And whenever the skin is based mainly in an orange, whether it is a light orange or an orange that is gravitating more towards the red, you can assume that the root skin color is blue because of the complementary relationship between orange and blue. I cross-check with emerald green to make sure that the skin tone is enhanced, is more beautiful, more radiant with the emerald green and enhances the overall coloring of a person. In this case, it is not the full harmony that we can see between skin tone and this emerald green. It is almost contrary to her coloring. This emerald green doesn't seem to reach the right energy level. It looks like she needs higher energy level colors. And when you start looking at the blue, you will see what I mean. Her entire skin tone looks beautiful, radiant, clear, completely in harmony with the blue compared to the green. When I move away from blue, going to the indigo blue and the purple, I can see that purple also provides some type of harmony for her, which is quite typical for people with blue root skin color. They will be harmonized by the orange, by purple and blue itself. Now, if purple was the only color providing the right energy level and frequency for her to look radiant in, then she would have yellow root skin color. And this can be quite irritating for you if you have a golden glow about your skin, which is the case for Shiloh. But you have to cross check with blue, which color does provide more harmony, more energy, the right amount of energy and the right level of energy without overwhelming your skin tone, without 
making you look dull or completely in dissonance with your overall coloring and the only color that does that job is blue and you have to take into account that your skin tone is within a range you will always have multiple color frequencies present in your skin which make up your skin tone Shiloh's skin tone is mainly based in orange and has a slight golden hue to it which means that the main base of her skin tone is orange is not yellow this step is crucial to understand what colors you should be avoiding and which colors you should be choosing to look radiant and healthy now in the triadic analysis i'm trying to find the right triadic set that will help me develop the final colors it is important in this step to look for colors that will provide the right color frequencies and the right energy level each color needs to be on the same energy level to be considered the right set in this step it is about color harmony and healing and less about the colors itself that you can see here and these are obviously not the colors that I would recommend her wearing. They are just for the analysis purposes. The first set that you can see here already seems to be the perfect one because blue is her root skin color, harmonizes beautifully with her eyes and overall coloring. Red is a beautiful color for her because her skin is mainly based on orange. How do you get orange? By mixing red and yellow. This is the reason why she looks so beautiful with red and yellow. When you cross check with the other triadic sets, you will notice how pink is now contrary to her entire coloring, while yellow and blue seem to be still kind of okay. The yellow more than this type of blue. In this set, you can see how emerald green and this orange are vibrating on the same energy level, while the purple is not vibrating on the same energy level, which makes this set wrong for her and in this set you can see how this indigo blue and orange are vibrating on the same energy level while this green again is not vibrating on the same level which makes it the wrong set cross-checking with the first set i hope you can see it how she is energized by all three colors on the same level even though that all three colors have a different wavelength frequency and energy they all vibrate on the same energy level meaning they are creating the right type of harmony for her entire coloring now based on the entire analysis i can now develop the final colors here you can see the final colors three neutral colors that are based on orange and beautifully harmonize with her overall coloring as you can see there is no gray in this color palette which the seasonal color analysis might suggest you to wear in reality there are not four color types but nine billion and growing my method allows me to be much more accurate here you can see nine of her best colors and as you can see this is the triadic set yet i have refined that triadic set to her entire analysis to her entire type so the colors are not that bright because she's a medium chroma type and based on the entire analysis i I'm able to also find warm but also cooler colors that are all based on her root skin color and the triadic analysis and you will see the single colors also here with the respective color names like green bright oriental glow which is a beautiful color for her lake baikal dahlia dawn lake nakuru monk's hood very beautiful color for her blue lavender deep rose camellia and rouge lily and when you get your custom premium color palette you will also get the color combinations which you can see here i will provide you with the right color combinations specifically for your color type based on the 12 colors that you get i will create the color combinations that will look most amazing on you you can combine two colors or three colors yet the softer your chroma type is the more i would recommend to go monochromatic this is what you would get when you book your custom premium color palette you will get your color card with your three neutrals and nine colors you will get your color combinations and how to use your single color cards your single color cards you will see here they will contain the color name the hex code with an internal color code that will later on be important when you are shopping for clothing especially online you will get your three neutrals 
on a single color card as well as your nine colors. If you want me to find your true color type based on my method, check out the description. You can book a custom premium color palette of three or like here 12 or 48 colors, including single color cards for easy online and in-store shopping. If you like this case study, leave a like, leave a comment and let me know who you want me to analyze next. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any of the daily videos that I release, like case studies, uh, holistic style tips, the science of color, my personal journey and more. And I recommend watching this video next. Thank you.